We've all heard that love conquers all. But what happens when love fades away? On today's case, Mrs. Hill says the passion in her marriage has fizzled. And now her husband is boring, uninvolved, and so disconnected that he even stood her up on the day they were supposed to renew their vows. Mrs. Hill says she is ready to turn the page and start a new chapter in her life without her husband. But Mr. Hill is here at divorce court today, and he is determined to save his marriage. Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Hill versus Hill. Thank you very much, Mrs. Hill, Mr. Hill. Mrs. Hill, you say that you are in court today because you've reached the breaking point in your relationship. You say that for 21 years you have put your husband's needs before your own, and today you are ready to take back your life. Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Hill, you say you are not ready to give up on your marriage. You hope that today you find resolution to those problems rather than end up in divorce. Yes, Your Honor. And I see that you all have asked two of your children to join you today. I am so glad that they are here, but it breaks my heart a little bit because that means that the stakes are a bit higher. This is not just a couple in crisis, this is a family in crisis, and this is very serious, and I want people to understand that this is not a game for any of us that's in this courtroom. These are people's lives, and we take it very, very seriously. So thank you all for being here and trusting me that we're going to treat it with the dignity and respect that it deserves. So, whew, that said, Mrs. Hill, it's a whole lot to unpack here. You've been together for over two decades, and you're still living together, but you say it's over with. Tell me how you met and how we got here. Well, when I first met my husband, Your Honor, it was deja vu. I was living in a shelter. I was pregnant with my daughter, and my son was two years old. And it was like, when I, first, when I first looked at him, I said, that's my soulmate. They thought I was crazy. My girl was like, Slim, you crazy? I said, I'm telling you, because you know, people say when you meet your soulmate, you know, but I just know. So it spoke to your soul. Absolutely. And it was, and it was beautiful. We used to go out. He used to take me out to, you know, to eat. We used to go to the movies. We did a lot of things together. You know, he just took an interest in me as an individual. Mm -hmm. You know, my needs and how I felt and what I thought, it, it, it meant something to him. And that's, that was, that's really important. That was really important to me. You know, we did a lot of things together. He was good with my kids, and he was good with me. Girl, he used to put down. It was a beautiful thing, but it's like now, everything just fizzled out. It just seems like you have outgrown I, each other. Yes. You know what it is? We're not equally yoked, and we're not on the same accord any longer. Let me figure that out. Mr. Hill? Did it start out good for you? Um, Your Honor, yes, it did. It was like, like well, like she said, it was love at first sight. And, you know, I, you know, I love kids so much. And when I seen her son, I just felt like he was my son. So, you know, looking at her and saying that our relationship will be even better you know, because of the kids. And you were blending your family because, as I understand, you already had six, six children? Kids. Yes. Six yes, children. Your Honor. And then you all have had three children together. Yes. So there are nine children involved. Yes, Your Honor. My grandparents had nine girls also. And Ooh. so between the boys and the girls, I'm telling you, that's a house full of people. That's a lot of folk. Mm. That mm. brings a whole lot of joy, but it can bring some ups and downs. I want to talk a little bit about you because a lot of times, Families come in here, parents come in here, and they start with the kids. Let's start with you, because the, the foundation of the marriage is just the two of you. Tell me what is wrong with your relationship. What happened, Your Honor, is when I had my last child, I went into early menopause. Okay. So when I went into the early menopause, I, um, you know, I had no sexual desire at that time. I lost my hair, and as a result, I was no longer taking the birth control, so I lost a lot of weight. Oh. The process of the menopause, I lost a lot of weight. Oh. The birth control made me have that weight on me. So it's when like... When you met your now husband, mm -hmm. were you at the fuller figure or at the, the weight you are now? The full figure. Okay. And so you have now basically taken on a new body, am I right? Yes. Okay. How has that manifested itself in, its, in your relationship? Well, th the problem is when once I... Like I said, once I went into the menopause, I lost the weight because I was no longer uh, the, the original size when we met. Mm-hmm. Um, he likes bigger women, so... And he's constantly on his phone, on a porn 
Looking at all these BBWs and stuff, and as you can see, I fit that criteria in no shape, form, or fashion. But you are fly. You are looking good. You look healthy. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's kind of a self-esteem blower because, you know, if he's looking at a bigger woman and then I'm looking at me and then I'm saying to myself, what, you know, I'm not, I don't turn him on. This is not what he really wants. Well, you know what? He is here right now. We are not going to talk around you. Um, Mr. Hill? Yes, sir. You Honor. can't tell me you don't think Miss Hill look fly. She look good. That's not the problem, though. What's I mean, the problem? It's the sex. She constantly is always like, oh, like if I try to get in the mood with her, she's not, not responding. Okay, I want to already tell your children. But wait. Don't be uncomfortable because but wait, no, <laughs> you're weird no, here what? talking no. about your parents trying but to get wait, with each you other. Know, no, 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 no. Uh, do you know why I don't respond? Because of your attitude. See, you don't understand that your attitude and the way that you act and the way that you speak to me d d pays a big part. I want you all to resolve this. I want to hear this. What attitude and what response? So that way, Mr. Hill can hear he, what it is. He's constantly, you, you constantly on point. I got women texting him because all his stuff from the his goes to my phone. So I can with all these different women texting my phone, sending, I just got a video this morning with a woman with her, Showing me a different body parts. And wait, 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 wait. You mean to tell me you're on your way into divorce court? You got yes a text from absolutely yes. Okay, now Mr. Hill. Wow. The first thing you need to do is stop that stuff from going into the phone. What in the world kind of sites are you on? I mean, it's 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 to me that's that's recreational for me. <laughs> and for me, it is. <laughs> And Recreational is throwing around a football, I, take, picking up a tennis you. racket, <laughs> thank jogging you. around Piedmont Park. That's recreational. Thank you. That, the hell? Thank you. It's not a form of physical cheating, it's emotional cheating, and that hurts even more. Mrs. Hill doesn't feel loved. No, I don't. And you are manifesting that in, oh, as you call it, little extracurricular activities that are not, in your mind, cheating because you are not acting upon it physically. Am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. Are you somebody who cheats on Mrs. Hill? Your Honor, she knows I love her. Regardless of what I do on the side, it's not, it's not to, to, to hurt her but it's basically to get her attention. Okay, Mr. Hill, I'm gonna tell you something right now. It hurts her for you to be digging on other women and those women send inappropriate text messages that reach her phone. It hurts her. Mrs. Hill, have you ever said that to him, what I, I just said? Yes, I have, Your Honor, and that's the thing. And like I told him, it's not a form of physical cheating, it's emotional cheating, and that hurts even more. And Mr. I'm Hill, did you hear your like, wife? Yes, I heard it, Your Honor. But, number one, she's constantly... If she sees a man that she likes and we're walking together down the street, she'll definitely comment on it. But me, I won't say anything to her That's about not it. true. That's, See, there she go. No, looking and we together and we're engaging together, that's different. That's like if, we, if, I, if I consent to us having a threesome together, we have a threesome, and then you going out and you doing it on your own. I didn't consent to that. I consent to us sleeping with somebody, the three of us. That was consensual. You going out sleeping with somebody without my consent, that's cheating. Oops. That's cheating. That's called an that's example, cheating. and she laid it out pretty accurately. Let me, <laughs> that's let cheating. me tell you a story, right? Okay. It's a story about I tried to get her to accept me as me. Like, for instance... I do. She could be in the shower, right? Okay. And I can go creep in the shower with her. I That's will, sexy. I would rub her down, soap her down. That's sexy. Right? Massage her, her shoulders. That's sexy. But no response. But, Mr. Hill, if you creep in the shower, but it's as a result of you over there checking out porn sites... Thank you. And that's your impetus for going that, up in there trying to get with her. That might make a woman but feel hurt. But that's not even it. That's not even the thing. You gotta, you gotta remember the attitude throughout the day. The attitude. It's just you gotta realize the way you speak to me, and then you looking at the porn saying the things you do. The thing is, this here's the thing. My energy is gonna match his energy at all times. And when my man energy matches his energy, he don't like it. He don't so like what? It. What I'm hearing, Mr. Hill, he so like that it. you. Don't feel do like anybody do, is beating up on you. Mrs. Hill, listen to me for one moment, please. Mr. Hill, Mrs. Hill is simply saying to you, if you are giving her back negativity, 
her tit for tat is to give you negativity. Now, I find that to be petty on both parts. I am going to say that to you. My preference is for you to sit down and have an actual conversation and say what's ticking you off, what's pushing your buttons. Because that's what people who have been married for two decades do. They say, listen, we're in a crisis because you continue to do X, Y, and Z. Baby, I need you to stop doing X, Y, and Z. That's what mature people do who want to maintain a relationship. Mr. Hill, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, Your Honor. Do you I, agree yeah, with me on that? Of course I do. But I, that doesn't seem like to be your family dynamic. No. Mrs. Hill doesn't feel loved. No, I don't. And you are manifesting that in, oh, as you call it, little extracurricular activities <laughs> that are not, in your mind, cheating because you are not acting upon it Physically, am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. Now, I'm going to ask you a direct question. Are you somebody who cheats on Mrs. Hill? No, Your Honor. He's always constantly undermining my parenting skills. This is not about a control let's, freak. Let's, let's, let's bring it down. She would undermine my decision. See, she doesn't tell you that. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Hill, let me just talk to you a little bit about parenting. You need to stop talking so much. And you need to talk more about what matters. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Mrs. Hill, do you think he cheats on you? He has cheated in the past. He doesn't have a good track record. The trust is not there. But, and it's not even that. He's constantly undermining my parenting skills, and that's where... That's where we're getting to the second thing, because we talked about what's broken down between the two of you. Now what's broken down with the family but, dynamic? But that was the final straw. So, 17-year-old son doesn't go to school. He's on punishment. I said, listen, oh. he's on a dance team. He's on a dance team. I said, babe, he asked me, could he spend the night out? I said, no. And I told my husband, I said, listen, He's not to sleep out, and he's not to have nobody sleep over here until he gets his act together. Yes, his that's act together. what being on punishment means. Until he gets his act together. But what does he do? What does my son do? Ask his father, could he stay over at the friend's house? I already said no. He called his father, and he said yes. And he knew I said I didn't want him to spend the night. I said, babe, I don't want him to spend the night. He's on punishment. And that's the thing. He's always constantly undermining my parenting skills. This is not about a control let's, freak. Let's, let's bring it down. Let okay. me go over to Mr. Hill. Okay. Mr. Hill, was your Your son on punishment for a reason that you both agreed for? I didn't agree for in anything. She, she took that upon He's not us. going to school. What is it to agree upon? But <laughs> can I say one thing? See? Yes, I'm listening to you, Mr. Hill. She, she made that decision on her own. That's another part of her being controlling and not telling you what the situation really is. She allowed him to stay home from school for so many days that this is the reason why he's not going to school. No. But she's not that, telling you. That's not true. She's not telling you that I always will say, why is he still here in the house? Mr. Hill, you are the man in this house. Thank you. Have you and your son had a conversation no. about why he's not engaging no. in school? Mrs. Hill, I don't need an amen corner. I'm talking to Mr. Hill. No, we haven't. And why and not, you know sir? Why? Because if I do have that conversation with him, I already knew what, what would be the outcome, is that she would undermine my decision. See, she doesn't tell you that. When I make decisions, she will go, oh, forget it. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Hill, let me just talk to you a little bit about parenting. Right. I am so blessed. Mm -hmm. When I met my husband, the first thing he said to me was, I have a 10-year-old. Right. And anybody who comes into my life that is looking to be a part of my life needs to be a part of my son's life. And so I walked in the door, similar to just like your right. husband, right. now husband, came in. We have decision-making time that excludes our son. Okay. Right. The son's not a part of that. Right. The husband and the wife, the mother and the father, sit down. And usually, at least in my parents' household, it was behind closed doors. Yeah, right. And I don't know what was going on in that room. They might have been yelling, screaming, acting <laughs> up. But I know when they came out that room, what, what they happened? was of one mind. Mm-hmm. Because that was the family decision. That was the parents' decision because 
what I was not going to do in my household was play my daddy off against my mother. Thank you. I want you to hear one thing. My father said to me one time, mm. the only time he had ever been mad at me, honestly. Okay. He said, you are a product of this marriage, not a factor in it. Mm. Mm. And if you are That's ever deep. rude to my wife again, mm. you will find another place to live. You want to know why he said that? Because I had to respect right. the dynamic of that family. And you two must provide that example to your children. You need to stop talking so much. And you need to talk more about what matters. The two of you have put so much into this family. But the controlling part is... The only reason why she's controlling is because you don't step up. I'm Thank telling you, you right and now. And I'm not wrong. Uh, and, and, and he's always saying, oh, you're control freak. I'm not wrong, Your, your Honor. No. Let me tell you the headbanger. We're supposed to renew our vows. Last year, our anniversary is four days from now. We'll be 21 years. Last year, we were supposed to go to Florida. I made the arrangements. I hooked everything up. You know, I'm online. I'm, you know, looking into stuff to do. And two weeks before, we were supposed to leave. He's scared of flying on the plane. He's scared. Okay. He's like, oh, no, I'm not getting on the airplane. I told you. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Following week. Now, showtime, because we, we ready to go now. I'm, you know, I done got my little sexy stuff. I done went and made arrangements for us to go to the spa, get our nails and our feet done, get massages. You ready? Keep that. going. So, <laughs> now, oh, Ooh. we can't go. Two days before, we can't go. Why we can't go? What? Oh, because we don't have a babysitter. I'm not leaving the kid. First of all, I, I got children. You got built-in babysitters. Thank you. No excuse, Your Honor. We're supposed to renew our vows, and he didn't do it, and I was just, I'm done. I don't want to, I'm... Listen, I don't, I don't... Hold it. Tag, you're it. Why would she book a flight on a plane and she knows that I'm scared of planes? You understand what I'm saying now? Um, Mr. Hill? Yes. Y'all are from New York, am I correct? Yes, ma'am. Did you drive to divorce court today? No, ma'am. <laughs> How'd you get here? <laughs> but I... <laughs> Speak it to the mic. You're right. You understand? It's understandable. Speak it to the mic. Right. But... Nope, I'm gonna go back, because here's the thing. You do the things that you want to do. You get over your fears when you want to get over your fears. And I'm gonna tell you, I think I'm a pretty fly person and a cool judge, but you didn't come just to see me. You wanted to come here because you were fighting for your marriage. Of course. That should have been the time you were fighting for your marriage when it was time to renew those vows so that you showed your butt up for this lady down in Florida because you knew it was important to her. It's understandable. We just do things that are important to our mate just because it's important to our mate. You might think it's silly. No. You might not want to be bothered. It doesn't matter, but it was important to her. She, it was so important that she about, made all the know, arrangements. What about, it's always about being important but for that, her. But that's what the about thing. Me? But that's the thing, and that's... I mean, come on. You said in a nutshell, sometimes I stepped outside of my comfort zone for the past 20 years to, to placate this man and make him happy. And if you couldn't do that for me for j j once, you could not... Mr. Hill, one, why didn't you step go? Step outside Tell your comfort truth. zone to make Ms. me feel Hill, important. please, give him a minute. Why didn't you go? I, 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 I personally... Tell I, the truth. Why didn't you go? I just didn't want to go, tell you See, that's what it was. I didn't want to. And you should have said and that. And stop, Mrs. Hill. Mr. Hill, because what we want to do is we want to hear. Why didn't you want to go, sir? Next time on Divorce Court. I am tired of listening to the back and forth with y'all when I know that there's some people who can give me the real family dynamic. Mm -hmm. Let's start with your daughter, Miss Kiara Hello, Timms. Hello, Your Honor. Kiara, tell me about your family. Me and my mom are very close. This is my stepfather. Me and him don't get along at all. And I feel like my mom deserves better. Well, at least I can tell you that's what she has conveyed to you, that she's unhappy. Is that yes, fair? Yes, she's very unhappy. Let's bring in your son. Mrs. Serrano, will you please join us? Talk to me about your perception of the family dynamic. I think the main thing is, is that she thinks that she's younger than she really is. The situation is you're below average. Who's below average? I don't know average? what you think is out there. All it comes down to is, do these two people want to be in each other's lives? That's really all it comes down to. Made in Georgia.